Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Witcher. Patrons have basically voted that everything I handled last time was okay by their, um, by their thoughts. Oathbreaker boots diagram. How did I not pick that up last time? I didn't install anything. What? What is that? Oathbreaker boots. I like seriously did not even notice this thing last time. Where? Where is this? It's It's not even in my normal diagrams. I'm very confused by what I just pick up, what I just picked up. I Yeah, it's not even in my normal formulas. Is it a quest item? I don't I don't see it. It's not in my junk and is it a crafting thing? Very confused by what I just picked up. Okay, well, we'll leave that for now. Because confusion. Um all right. Oh, I never re the trophy. There we go. All right, let's get out of here, Roach. Oh, interesting. I found a patient's chart in the ruins of the hospital. You mean the burned down insane asylum? They committed him to the asylum because he'd insisted he'd been a prisoner of the wild hunt. He claimed he'd been in a world without humans where he'd seen herds of unicorns. He managed to return to our world after a year, only to find his children had died of old age. Following this, Vernon, it means he'd been to a world where time flows a lot slower. I okay. Long what did what did that give me? Why was why was that a talking point with Roach? Something very strange is going on. Man, I hope the save is not like totally royally messed up. I don't even have mods installed on this game. That was just the thing that Roach decided to say. Or that girl decided to say to Roach. Like a totally random thing. I mean, I do have the notes, but... What? Alright, alright. We'll just move on for now. Um, despite that. I... Ugh. I am flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm truly, like, honestly struggling to understand what the heck that was. But, I mean, I guess we'll just move on, right? Thank you. Alright. Let's book it back to town. We'll talk to Zoltan. And then we will... Move on, because that's really the only thing we really need to do. Unless, is there anything else in our returning memories? Um, that's the Rose of Remembrance thing. That's fine. Militelli's heart. Yeah. We don't have anything else to do until uh, until we move on with the story, and that involves talking to Zoltan. Good. I like getting somewhere with the game. Okay. I don't suppose I should talk to Cedric about anything. I'll do it anyway. See if there's anything here. I I don't think we have anything to talk to Cedric about, but part of me is just like, let's just make sure that there's nothing. Oh, yeah, we can. Any idea what Yorbeth intends? Towards Lorita or the local humans? Only he knows that. But I suspect he's at a loss, unsure what to do. He's in the area, mounts the occasional ambush, then lies low for a few days. But he's yet to put together a larger attack. I think he's waiting for the Commandant to lower his guard. It would appear so. But Yorveth is famous for his viciousness. 
He's fought regular troops, attacked much larger settlements. Delaying the fight this long is unlike him, unless there's something I don't know about. Hmm. Okay. Can you craft anything for us that's interesting? Like that one thing I saw? Nope, I guess not. I may... Oh. Okay. Another archer there. I may take a trip into town to the blacksmith and see if he has anything that I could possibly create. I think we should also talk to Sheila um, and uh, what's his name? Dandelion and see if there's anything new there. Triss may also have something new to talk to us about. I don't know. But it always helps. Again, I don't know if I need to be attacking different training dummies, but I'm going to hope that I can just kill these a bunch. No, it, it, it has to be different because I've killed well over 15 at this point. Or maybe that's just not available in this game. So how's it going, dear? Also don't know. Everything that's a possibility. Alright. <laughs> Out of sheer curiosity. Does that thing so show up? Here. As you guys can t typically craft better stuff. Nope. I have no idea what that Oathbreaker boot thing is all about. I wonder if that's a difficulty thing, because sometimes there's armor and, and other items that only show up in certain difficulties. And the game may think I'm in one difficulty when I'm really not. I'm not entirely sure. Talk to Sheila. If there's anything else new here. Any progress? Nope. Just talking about her thing that she built. Even though we know she's been talking to Laredo. I don't think we can just go up to Laredo and talk to him, so that's kind of a moot point. And we kind of said everything we needed to say. Part of me is curious what the I could talk to the person of the brothel about, because we know that she's in bed with um with Yorveth? Not literally, in her case. But we know that she's working with him. What can I get you, fine lad? Yeah, okay. She she won't really tell us anything beyond that. I'm curious if we can actually even use that information against her. Like I said, I've only played like the beginning part of this game, so I don't know how far it goes. Um, and honestly, Act 2 is almost entirely a mystery to me, so I'm hoping that I'm making the right decisions. I guess let's talk to Triss, and then we'll talk to Dandelion, and then we'll talk to Zoltan. How's it? Uh, okay, nothing new from Triss. Dandelion? Nothing from Dandelion. Alright, I guess we'll just talk to Zoltan. Nothing new. Ooh. Lots going on, huh? I spoke to the commandant. The future hardly looks bright for the non-humans in Flotsam. That fucker's only waiting for an excuse. One small provocation by Yorveth and he'll attack us. How do you know? Heard it by chance. Saw him walking through the port one night, talking to himself, the batty bastard. He mentioned a new order and a world for humans only. He laughed and shouted curses at the prison barge. The scum is up to something. Yorveth must sense it. He's doing everything not to provoke Laredo, but his Scoyatel might have a different opinion and less restraint. Hmm. Okay, then. Any news? Triss has sniffed something out. Apparently, there are prisoners on the barge in the port. Squirrels, no less. Okay. Um. I think we've already done this, but I guess we can just do it again. I, do we get something else for beating him a second time? I don't think so. But let's just make sure that we have it done. Because it showed up as an orange thing. I guess that's like a conversation ender if it's orange. But that's not even necessarily true. Your hands like a vice. It wasn't easy. If you ever run into my old mates Yarpin or Sheldon, promise me you'll take them on. They'll be surprised. Okay. Yeah, that's still orange. Zoltan, I need to ask you a favor. Shoot. I heard you know the local Scoyatel. 
You heard? Meaning some goat's ass in a helmet hollowed it out in the market square. I need some way to get to this Jorvik. You know, I don't want you thinking I'm all chummy with the Squiretel. And Jorvik detests me. Why would you want to see him anyway? He knows where the Kingslayer is. Jorvik? And here I always thought him a common thug. All right. No reason to sit on our asses. Come on. You can tell me everything on the way. All right, Zoltan. Following you. So we are going to meet with Yorvis. Tell me, who said I have contacts with the Scoyotel? The Reno. What? <laughs> That's why he wanted to hang you for making deals with the squirrels. What? I met a few, yes, but made no fucking deals. What about their leader? They say Yorvis mad, but the Scoyotel are at his beck and call. So how Sword knows what he wants. Everything Hope he'll tell me what it is. Tell you what, of two evils, yeah, Lorido is the bigger threat. Oh, because he almost hanged you? Because he stirs up the locals against non-humans. And as what, he's colluding with Kedwin. What's his angle? Greed! King Hensel would gladly annex more land and grant Lorido privileges. Come on, we've got a long way to go. I mean, you're not wrong. We do kind of already have um, proof that he's kind of in bed with Cadwin from the things that we've read, so... Honestly, both are true. I mean, certainly a bad... Excuse me, child? Ch child? Do not leave the city. You will die. Um... Okay, there you are. I was like, where did Zoltan go? It's a tough situation. We need to go deeper into the forest. I hope they didn't change the password. Password? You know their password. What are you playing at, Zoltan? Get out! Come on! All right. The Scoyatel asked me to command a unit. Oh, that's much more than just knowing them. <laughs> they may have asked, but I... this is it. I was due to meet them here. I know. They're aiming arrows at us. What? Geralt, I know full well you're always vigilant, but quit poking fun at me. Give them the password. What them? Hurry up, they're edgy. Here, kick out! Stop bawling. What do you want? Countersign. Heidegger. I asked you a question. Take us to Jorvef. Why? If we wanted to speak with you, we wouldn't ask for your leader. Jorvef won't talk with you. You don't know that. Leave while you're still able. The two of you won't scare us off. There are four more in that tree. How do you know? I can hear them breathing. One sick, we're on fist tech. How? He's wheezing. What? You elven cocks gone soft? Oh. Just want to talk to Yorbeth. Wait at the clearing. The dwarf knows where. We'll let Yorvith know. Make sure you do. Come on, get out. I do with the Delvin fix a plan. Been there once. What are you talking about? That clearing is a monster's lair. Huge horse son with a shell on its back. An Ericus in these parts? I thought that was impossible. I don't know the ship's name, but it's terrifying. It God damn it. Into a trap. Tough. Let's go. Yeah, so the Ericus, I guess. I thought it was supposed to be Arrakis, but that's uh, the Dune Planet. So yeah, we're gonna kill that thing after this meeting, and then we'll be able to finally finish Militelli's heart. And that'll probably give me enough content for this episode, because we're going to need to make a big, big decision after this. We're here. That creature prowls down there. Right where we're supposed to meet Yorvith. Exactly. Any ideas? I last fought an Ericus some time ago. I never had the swiving pleasure. Not that I mind. Wait here. What are you... Think me a limp prick? Alright, so we're gonna go kill the Arrakis. We do have two things set up already, but let's go ahead and go into the mutation and drink some potions. Because whenever we're gonna fight something, there's no reason not to. We are going to take a swallow. Hello? Uh, we are gonna take... Golden Oriole, and we're gonna take a Rook. Because why not? Alright. 
drink all three of these. With that, plus the little bit of the signs that we've picked up, or the, like, places of power we've picked up, we should do alright for the first little bit of this fight. And I'm going to give us a save real quick so that every time I die, because I'm sure it's going to happen, I don't have to redo it consistently. Hello? Game? Oh, down here. I was like, where are we going? <laughs> Alright. This is like a mini boss fight, essentially. I believe. This is the place the elves mentioned. That thing approaching us is no help. I'll leave it to you, girl. Monsters are not my speciality. Ooh, actually. I need the Yurden sign. Because this thing sucks. And as you can see. Our uh, dodge is much, much longer now. That's right, come for us. No, 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 come for me. And now it's stunned, and we're gonna wail on it. Okay, ooh, let's not get hit too much. There we go. Yeah, that dodge upgrade was real good. Oh, yeah. Well, not bad, all things considered. I don't know if I was able to get that drop. I might have to redo the fight. A lovely show, Gwynblade. But tell me, was it worth it? An uneven fight and certain death await you anyway. I could ask you the same thing. What do you want, Vatgun? Speak quickly before I kill you both. Oh, Lord, there's a lot to talk about here. Let Sultan go, Yorbeth. You have me. I have you both. A Witcher apparently seeking an ugly death and a dwarven traitor spitting on the honor of his folk. You know what I spit on, you devit? On you, bloody squirts, riffraff, killing innocent men. Innocent men? So agitated when you shout that, it's even funny. All right, and then? Let's not <sighs> provoke him. Lorena no, that's right. not what I... Game. Game. <laughs> Not okay there. All right. Show, Thankfully, there's a quick save Tell right at the thing. I could ask you the same thing. What do you want, that? All right. So we Let's said that I first. And a you know what I innocent? I want Letho. I want the Kingslayer, Letho, the man whose crimes I'm accused of. If you hadn't become Foltest Lackey, you wouldn't have been there when he was murdered. Do you really expect me to betray a useful ally? Mm. Letho betrayed you. He wanted to make a deal with your comrade, Kirin. Kirin Ep Esnilin is dead. Two weeks ago, his warriors were ambushed and killed. You should invent better lies, Gwynblade. He's on the barge, wounded but alive. He turned Letho down, and his unit paid the ultimate price. Yep. If you That's speak the truth. the truth, Letha will die. But words alone are not enough. Hmm. They believe us. All right. Let's see. You attack and murder the people of Flotsam, forgetting that elves and dwarves live among them. That's no life. They've been stripped of self-respect, forced to live and die by human laws. They're more Dwan than you, Geralt. Okay. So the hired assassin turned out to be a traitor. It's his word against yours. For now, why do you trust him? Because he's a Dwan who agreed to do shady work for you? He did what had to be done. He proved nobody's untouchable. Okay then. What's your angle, Yorbeth? You wouldn't understand. Hiding in woods, killing berry pickers, eating roots. We live by our own rules, doing what's necessary to attain our goal. 
What is your goal? What's it to you, Geralt? Eseth Vatken? You tell me to stuff it up my ass. Not everything deserves that fate. My life now depends on your whim, so I'm curious. Then listen well. The two dead kings were whoresons who damned their own children to stay in power. But in yeah. the east, there's someone truly deserving of a crown. Who? Who in the east deserves a crown? Are you talking about an elf of some sort? That's an important piece of information we need to learn. That's the first time we've heard. You still trust this assassin? You may be lying. If I'm lying, so did Kieran. We'll investigate it for his sake. We shall see how Letha reacts to your sensational news. Where is he? Yeah, I don't think we're getting that info. The ruins of Kelmawed. For some oh. reason, he likes the place. My unit will cover us. Ready? Why did you want Foltes dead? He might have appeared charming, but in reality, he allowed the elder races in Temeria to be oppressed. He was like old Duan, but his death has more significance. Okay, then. Let's meet there. I have something to take care of first. Vafel, Gwynblade. Just don't try any tricks. Trust us enough to let us go. We need to do that because if we just go straight there, we're not going to have my raise suspicions. As you wish. Just don't get slaughtered. And the fucking Arrakis despawned. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna redo this fight because that's absolute horseshit. I uh, uh. I think it re despawned because I had to reload the conversation, possibly. So I'm going to redo the fight. I'm going to do all the same dialogue choices. I'll be right back, everybody. There we go. Okay. So the body actually disappears all the time, but you can find it here. So we get all that stuff. Melatelli's heart now updates. And uh, we could take a little look at our inventory. So we got Arrakis armor. What is this? Ooh, crafting component. And this trophy gives us much... It gives us a damage bonus and vitality bonus instead of the armor bonus. I think I would rather still keep our current trophy that we have on, but it's a pretty good trophy. I'm not going to lie. All right, so we're going to meet Letho soon. Oh, okay, okay. Why does that even exist? Why does that platform exist? No sense. Okay. We're going to go turn in Militelli's heart because we're going to get a fantastic item from that, I believe. So we definitely want to do that before moving on. And. Oh. We went the wrong way there. And then we will go meet Letho. I don't think we make the big decision just yet, so. I have some time. Before that happens, uh, for everybody playing that that section and finding that the Arrakis is disappearing as well, it seems like the body of the Arrakis will always tend to disappear, but the loot is still in the same place. So you really just have to like walk around to find it. Use the Witcher's talisman if uh, if you're having trouble. That being said, if you do load during the conversation, the body will in fact disappear. Um, and all the loot along with it. So if you want the loot, it's got to be in one straight manner from speaking with, uh, the guy. My brain just stopped. I called him the guy. What's his name? Oh my god. Uh, Yorveth. So don't load during Yorveth, Yorveth and it shouldn't disappear. Okay. Let's go speak to the woman. Uh, the witch, in quotes. Because she admitted herself that she is one, but he seems pretty... Pretty nice, all things considered. And we have all the things that we need to get this... ...fixed. Let's talk about the talisman. You wish to sell it? No. I want to know everything there is to know about this ritual. Ask away. 
What do you need to perform the ritual? Essence of death, a troll's tongue, the eyes of an arachus, and an endrigus fetus. Uh... Can you conduct the ritual? I see you have all the ingredients. If you make up your mind, come to the statue of Veopatis at midnight. Okay. All right, I'll be there. We could sell it to her for like a nominal fee. It really... It's not worth it in the long run. I think it's something like 250 orins. Which, I mean, granted, in the scheme of the game, like, for, for a normal person, that's quite a lot of coin. But, I mean, like, we have 3,000 orins currently. And it's not that hard to make money in this game, especially if you do what I did and just loot people. I mean, like, looting, um, you know, a set of bandits for their weaponry and selling it off already nets you quite a big load of cash. So. Not the worst thing to do. Alright, so if we're waiting until midnight. And then we gotta go to Veopatis's. I don't remember where that is, but I'm pretty sure this will mark it. Oh. Wait. The shrine to Veopatis after sundown. No, specifically she said midnight, but that's fine. Oh, we can just follow her. That works. Because I don't entirely remember where she goes or where we have to meet her. Hello, doggy. I wish I could pet you. Oh, wait, can I pet you? Hold on. No, that's an open. I don't think there's anything dangerous that's going to happen during this mission. At this point, like, we've gotten everything required. I will say that, uh, depending on some of the circumstances surrounding, uh, how you get some of the ingredients, if you are missing something, like, let's say you missed the Arrakis eyes, or you didn't get the Andragas heart, or maybe you sold something by accident. If that's the case, you can get most of the ingredients from, from Cedric. Um, I believe the only one he doesn't have... Actually, he might not have the Arrakis eyes, so if you don't get that there, you might be screwed. But... For most things, you should be okay. Why can't I... Go into my menu? What is happening? Okay, my escape button isn't working. What is happening? I could, well, I, it like forced me to walk for a second there. Yep, escape is not working. That's not good. So I can't save. I should mention. There's a trap right here. Alright. I guess we're just doing this. I guess I do have an autosave. Here at last. I don't know many brave enough to venture into this forest, especially at night. I do not fear the squirrels, and I have my methods for the monsters. Interesting. This place is full of mysteries that even witches can't imagine. You're the main mystery right now. Why do you need me? I don't know the ritual. You'll find out once I begin performing it. Are you ready? Uh, not yet, That's but I guess. Prepare, Witcher. And now, watch this. From the wraiths. Yeah, there's wraiths. There is a way that you can just sort of like, break this, apparently. Where you can, like, be in a position where the wraiths won't attack her or something like that? Oof. Shit, you stink. Or you could just, like, move around. I th believe that there's only three wraiths at a time. So you can actually, like, ugh. Yeah, I got killed there. 
I can't access the menu! I wanted to save before the fight! Now I have to... ...find my way over there. Annoyingly. Yes, I know I'm dead. Let me load the... It didn't... Together. We're leaving together. Wait, no, what? Certain. Your presence might raise suspicions. As you wish. Just don't get slaughtered. What? Oh, now I have access to my... What the fuck? So it auto-loaded me back here. Hold on. Do I have any other saves that are after that moment? Oh my god. The game glitched out really hard. Okay, so let me explain what happened there before I reload the last save, kill this thing again, get the Arrakis eyes, go through the conversation and go all the way to her. Basically, what the game did was disabled my ability to go to the menu, and the last autosave was here. After, after the conversation. So that means I can't pick up the thing. What in the hell happened, game? Alright. I've saved. Here I'm ready. I don't I do interest this your why do you I've taken some stuff. Let's I guess we're ready. You must fight them. I need time to finish the ritual. Yes. All right. Well, we can stun wraiths. We know that much. That's nice. One dead out. Okay, wow. You hurt so much. Move. Ugh. You can sort of get them to come to you. Or, no, they'll back off a little bit. Huh. Do we even have to fight them? Can I bring them over one at a time? Yeah, I'll come over here. Huh. I, mean, I don't like it. But it's a strategy. One of them is going to come over. I don't entirely know how long this needs to happen. But I like the hit and run tactics. Particularly if we can stun one of them, like this one. Ow! Okay. I went right into one of them. That. Alright. It's pretty tough. This is very, very tough. I'm gonna keep going until I get closer, I guess. Okay, back off. Whew. Killed three. Not gonna lie, she seems to be doing pretty fine herself. All right, let's see if I can't Shit, get a few of them. Stink. Okay, there's a few more done. Okay, I'm just furiously clicking at this point. Ooh. Back off. Am I supposed to wait a certain amount of time, or... Am I supposed to actually kill all of them? I don't actually know. All I know is this hit and run tactic thing is really working out for me. <laughs> Alright, well. Try this again. I mean, they, they keep their health. You've done it. Okay. 
Well, all of them seem to have died. Or gone away. Oh, there was a circle of vigor here the whole time, huh? Lots of essence of deaths. Oh, I got a wraith trophy. I don't know what that does. Oh, I think I just armed a trap. And a circle of endurance here. Um. Do you want to talk to me? Hello? I'm very confused. Because I'm pretty sure that we did it. And we protected her from the wraiths. Do we have to wait until she gets back to the town? I'm gonna make a save right here. Because I may have to reload the game and that'll... Fix it? I don't know. Why is this game being so buggy today? Like, extraordinarily buggy. Like, normally you can talk to anybody. And I feel like I should have been able to talk to her. But she's just... not talkable? There we go. Did you manage? Melitale's heart has regained its former power. I can feel it. I never thought you could conduct rituals of that sort. <laughs> did you take me for a village witch who puts bread and cobwebs on wounds? What you did is closer to sorcery. Sorceresses, with all their learned books and schools of magic. What do they know? Magic witcher is the heart beating fast, or the smell of wet, rotting wood. It upsets the underbelly and makes you weep and cry. It's the sigh that misses a field mouse nest. It's people coupling under the new moon till it hurts. It's blood spilled and sweet milk flowing. That is magic. I've experienced all that and seen everything. I can control it. I wouldn't trade places with any sorceress. Okie dokie then. I don't know if I understand you, but I sure admire you. Take this talisman as a memento of our meeting. But you really wanted it. You helped me lift the curse from it, and ask nothing in return. Generosity is a rare virtue. Melitale's heart can once again bring luck. I think you will get more out of it than I will. Thank you. Come to me if you need anything. Better the devil you know. Welcome, White Wind. And there we go. We've completed Melitale's heart. And I don't know what it is. Melitale's heart... Quest item, Vitality Regeneration plus one. It's not a trophy. I think it's just a permanent Vitality Regeneration plus one. So yay! And the quest completed, of course. Wraith Trophy is six damage. That's quite a boost, but eh. Anything else we could get from you? I don't think so. I think you have some things that we could trade for. Like you have different ingredients. Blade oil. Actually, do you have... Oh, you do have specter oil. That might not be a bad idea to just grab this. Alright. Tawny Owl. Accelerates Vigor re Regeneration. Is that better than Swallow? Wolf. Increases accuracy of special attacks. Interesting. Okay. We're, so you have Swallow. Swallow is what? Vitality Regeneration plus one. Vitality Regeneration plus one. Oh, I see. Tawny Owl is Vigor Regeneration during combat. Not quite as interesting, but still not bad. Oh, information about the Summer Shrine, which enhances the Queen Sign. We actually found the Summer Shrine, so we don't necessarily need that. Okay. Cool. So that's all done. Completed that quest. I think we are now moving on to the Assassins of Kings. So we need to go see Letho. I'm going to give a save. 
Go meet Letho in the Elven Ruins. Uh, why not? What could possibly go wrong? I'm trying to get us to a point in the game where we're going to be given a very big decision. And once we make that decision, it's basically like a point of no return for the path that we're taking. I don't know what's coming after me, but something is. Oh, there you are. Oh, hello. Really? Why are we doing this? Oh, goodness. There's still something after me, apparently. Well, you know what? I'm gonna take everything, because you guys suck. Alright. I'm just trying to get to these goddamn ruins. I think I saw what was coming after me. Yep. Oh, drowners. Not what I expected. Oh boy, there's a lot of you, huh? Oh, what? Why did you stop attacking, girl? Alright. So I do believe that we have not gone this way yet. Or is this the same place we went with Triss? This might be the same place we went with Triss. Gonna go ahead and give a save. I may need to put on some oils and such. But hopefully not, because, you know, Yorvith is here. We need a ruse. Tell Letho you've captured me and want to hand me over to him. And you? I'll be unarmed, hands bound. If you're not lying, his reaction will confirm it. I don't trust you, of course. My warriors will cover us if you try anything stupid. I get it. I don't think so. Do anything stupid and they'll tie you down on an anthill, face coated with honey. You'll scream so loud even the storm riders will hear you. Are you always so grandiose? We could just tell Letho to own up. I'd fail men here yet then better. Conquer with courage rather than strength. Exactly. Let's go. Be careful. Oh, okay, then. Incredibly quick. Oh, I, I don't think we can save here. Oh, because I'm holding your Beth. And he's tied to me so I can just swing him around crazily. <laughs> So weird. Wee. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia. What's the meaning of this? I'm here to negotiate. Ah, Yorveth, the woodland fox caught at last. I underestimated you. Hmm. Who are you? You really don't remember? I'm sick of that question. So it's true. And here I feared that you would ruin it all. I am Letho of Gullet. I'm a Kingslayer. Joke's over. Unbind me! Hmm. Didn't Who answer the you? question. You really don't remember. I'm s so. I am. Oh, okay. I guess not. Tell me who you're working for, and the elf is yours. We work for ourselves. We? The Kingslayers. Interesting. Kieran Epesnalin told me you want to eliminate Yorvith. Even if I do, why would you help me? Bled at one. 
Demavend? Full test? Who else? Who the hell are you? We've met Gerald. Do you remember? No. I'll never forget it. You saved my life. White Wolf. We fought side by side. Now we'll cross blades. This wouldn't be necessary if I'd killed Yorveth first. Sullet and orcs will drown in their own blood. Oh, I don't think so. My men will finish their task long before the Skyatel in the Ponter Valley realize you're dead. Uh, who? I wondered what a human was doing among the Skyatel. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Know the same? The Skyatel are my brothers in vengeance. You killed Foltest. You'll answer for that. You're the only one who saw it happen. You'll do the answering. Hmm. Serret and Ox, who are they? Kingslayers the Skoyatala are assisting in the Pontar Valley, in Upper Edern. Well... This is a big decision. Do we fight him? Or do we not? I don't remember. If you can actually fight him here, I think he'll just kill you. This doesn't need to end in blood. Tell me everything. Enough of this farce! Vedrai Enlay! No, I think either way he just stops it from what going any further. One that you just lost. <laughs> and Roche attacks. Give me my sword. Yeah, what do we do? Do we give Yorvith his sword, or do we help Roche? If you give him his sword, an all-out battle occurs. And they're gonna fight each other. I'll show the other way to do this, as well. Oh, okay then. on opposite sides. We've seen this area before. I broke that wall. I see you still know how to fight. Right, so I think we get into a fight with Letho here. Why do you hound me? They think I killed Foltest. It's your own fault for playing soldier boy. All right. So you can see he has a uh, shield that he likes to use. He also uses signs, just like we do. Fighting a witcher is hard. Also, I can't really actually what the hell is happening why can't I target him he's also stupidly powerful as you can see I want to load real quick into the auto save and uh, actually I guess it won't really matter I'm just gonna die here anyway in a second yeah because I wasn't super paying attention to the fight the other option is to not give uh, uh, the sword to Yorveth. I believe that locks out a couple of things if we make a larger decision Why do you following this. Me? They think I killed but, Voltest. yeah. It's your own fault for playing soldier boy. Uh. Everyone understand? Oh, come on. I think Yurden also works on him pretty well. He also has bombs. Come on, come after me, buddy. Apparently that doesn't work on him, though. You are annoying, Letho. Why would a witcher kill kings? I'm a witcher no more. That was long ago. So you're a hired thug now. Congratulations. Nope, nope, you come to me, sir. Can you not? Thank you.
Yeah, the combat in this game isn't amazing or anything like- Oh wow, I got it off! I did not expect that. Being perfectly honest here. Oh, being on fire sucks. All right, come on. Yep, just run into it. There we go. Halfway down, it's going to end the fight. Obviously, we're not killing Letho now. That's for later. A witcher and a few elves are enough to kill a king? You've no idea how many people were eager to help us. You really think they will all keep quiet? Your best time is running out. The others will be judged and condemned for sowing chaos. So, why? You were one of us, Geralt. You saved us. Now we're even. Your witch is good with magic. Think she'll be able to teleport me to Edirn. If she behaves, I won't harm her. I'll find you. See you in Edirn, then. We're doing pretty well in that fight. That's bullshit that you have to lose, basically. Where's Roach? We killed a few of his men. The rest ran. Is Letho dead? On his way to Flotsam. How do you know? He wants to find Triss. Kill him. Before he contacts the others. You shouldn't have trusted a Dwan. Let's go. We can't go there, Geralt. The garrison. Of course. I forgot what kind of warriors you are. Nest Ted at Gwynblade. Good luck. Alternatively, and I'll give a little... Huh. Is that the loot you get from him? Oh, he actually... It de actually de-equips your sword. That's annoying. Uh, I'm going to make a little save here. And I'm going to redo that last section, but I'm going to uh, help Roche instead so that you can see what happens there. And I'll let you guys decide which one of those uh, is the one we're going to follow. So if we help Roche, <laughs> knock out Yorvith there. Get the King Slayer. Get the upper hand a little bit in this fight. We still have to go down and fight I have to him. You. Try it. So I'll, I'm not gonna show the fight again. I'm just gonna do the fight Such a pain and uh, show you the little thing afterwards. Why? What happened? Where is he? Where's the Kingslayer? Fled. Yorvith? Captured. My men have taken him to Flotsam. The Kingslayer may attempt to spring him from prison. I doubt it. He needs Triss. Really? Why? I've set the elves against him so he can't move through the forests. I have to find Triss first. Follow me then. And there's the big difference. If we don't help uh, good fight. Yorveth, then Yorveth... If we don't give Yorveth a sword, then Yorveth gets captured. Uh, that's going to significantly change what goes forward, and I believe he's not super happy about that. Alternatively, we can help Yorveth, and, you know, everybody still lives through the combat, but he is more on our side, and welcome, and wants to necess not necessarily help us so much, but we do go down a different path. So, this is the big decision. I'm going to take this as one side or the other. Are we going with Yorveth, or are we going with Roach? This is a really, really big decision because it is going to change the entire plot line for all of Act 2. Like, literally, this will change the entire plot line. There is a totally separate game ahead of us, depending on which one we do. So, Yorvith or Roche. So, I'm going to make a save here. Whichever one you guys decide, that's the one that we will uh, go down. This is for Patreon patrons on Patreon. You will be able to vote um, before the next episode. And, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.
What's going on, Geralt? 